is even boring. Acrobatics increased. Well, now you're smiling and pretending like nothing happened. He took me to the dungeon and abused me. Oof. I can make a ton of um, potions and such. It could be fun, but not right now. Let's see, what was I doing? Alright, um, the quest. <laughs> Tutorial, no thing. Repairing the orrery, no thing. Deliver the amulet, that's the one. So yeah, I have to go out. Actually, I'll just jump over here. Running through the town is not really exciting anyways. So yeah, I'm going to do a quest on my way to um, delivering the amulet. Um, I did it on my last playthrough, and it gave a, a pretty decent reward. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't use that. Um, those takes recordings. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a horse now. But I can't afford a horse yet. I think. I don't know. Well, that looks interesting. I want to go pick those flowers, but I'm not going to do that. So, way. I found way. Woohoo for me. Oh, something, I don't know. Morning glory would pop. Mm. Right. Hello, Mr. Fisherman. You know, stranger, they come. Who did? Last time, I really wanted to laugh in his face, but he seemed so grateful that I didn't. So go on and wait. I'll so yeah, I'm going to be killing fish and collecting fish scales. I could actually really do with them. Um, water breathing potion, but I don't think I have the ingredients for that. So yeah, I'm just going to um, quickly kill 12 fishies. Oh yeah, I also forgot about this Nern root. Gives a quest line. Uh, I think I'm following the wrong arrow. Right, I have to um, change my active quest. Go fish. So, yeah. I just got back from work, as I mentioned. Um, it was a pretty calm day. Nothing uh, exciting, no fights to uh, break up. Just a whole lot of drunk people. Whoa. Uh, and I really wanted to take off my badge and uh, oh. go drinking myself, but when the man came by, he's not really home that often. He's in the military, so... Yeah. It was fun to catch up with him, though. It's always fun to catch up with... I was about to say long-lost friends, but it's not really lost. It's just... On temporary leave, I guess, I could say.
So, you know what these fish remind me of? Have you guys ever seen the um, Stargate TV show or uh, movie? These fish really remind me of the uh, Goa old symbiotes. And I really don't like those. Like a um, parasitic type of alien that burrows into your neck and latches onto your brainstem and controls your body, basically taking over your body. So yeah, my friend, as I mentioned earlier, came by, and uh, his name is Thomas, by the way. He'll be really excited that I mentioned him in this movie. So, official shout out goes out to Thomas. Anyways, he mentioned that he's watched every Let's Play movie I have out on my channel. And that's the kind of stuff that really makes me want to continue making this, these movies. Really makes me want to finish this entire game, you know. For once. So... Just in general, to hear back from people saying, giving me their opinions of what they think about my let's play and such. And he mentioned how almost everyone starts a Oblivion let's play and never really finished them. So, that's also something I took to heart, Whoa. and I decided I wanted to start out before he ever mentioned oh. it, because I've seen way too many um, Let's Plays started and never really finished. But then again, this is a really huge undertaking to throw oneself out into, I mean Oblivion, it has potential for about I don't know, 500 hours of gameplay and making a full-on let's play with 15 minute videos going through all of that would oh. take for freaking ever oh. but I'm gonna do it or well at least I'm going to get as far as I can oh. with the uh, side quests Whoa. and such but I will finish the primary storyline Oh crap! Did I just die? You gotta be kidding me. Oh man, this game is so unforgiving. The news from Anvil is terrible. You know what? I'm so not going to do that again. Mm, pretty much lost everything. Even the quest scales. Ah oh, man. You know what? Screw that quest. I'm gonna go to, uh, straight to uh, to draw free. You guys are distracting me from finishing my quests alive, I guess. So yeah, I'm jumping straight to Joffrey. Maybe I'll go back and finish the quest later. Because the ring it gave was actually pretty sweet. It had like um, underwater breathing and some, um, I think it was boost agility or something on oneself by like 10 points. No, not agility, but something acrobatics or whatever. It was pretty good. Considering I'm now. Brother Joffrey. I brought you uh, the amulet of kings. This cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted to handle the amulet. Let me see it. Give Joffrey By the, the amulet. Nine. This is the amulet of kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? 
tell the Emperor's last words. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. Who... Uh, close shut the jaws of oblivion. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. Hmm. The Prince of Destruction, Mehrunes Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. Hmm. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. Oh, really? I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. Hmm. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. Is it really? When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor yeah, dead and I'm no new myself, heir uh, crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will drink. be dark for the first time in centuries. Always oh, go It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. Really? The emperor asked me to find his illegitimate son. I am one of the few who know of his existence. One night, Uriel called me. He right, now I'm just going to continue skipping these. Blah, 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 assistance. I keep a few things here in my chest to... Right. And this is where I get the um, full set of armor. Trials of St. Alicia. Wasn't he just speaking of Alicia or some such? I believe so. Yeah, later on I can just come back here and steal... Well not steal but take everything from the chest here have a hoot of time selling it all off so let's see uh, I can take some more stuff which is worth the most here claymore of course weighs a ton as well axe bow curious or However you spell it. Eh, I'll take it all. Not the arrows though. Really don't need those arrows. So, what's next? Where should I go now? The um, story tells me to go to Kavach. I don't know, maybe I should do that. But it's a really long walk, I know. All the way down here. So, pretty far. Normally I would just fast travel to this point, but I don't know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see me traverse the wilds? Or do you want me to just jump around? I guess I get to traverse the wilds, as I said, um, a lot later on anyways, because a bunch of these quests never really have any um, actual fast travel points unless I discover them first so I have to go there initially yeah now I'm just really aimlessly going around picking up stuff flowers and such but yeah I'll go to Kovac this once <sighs> let me know by the way um, if you want to see me walk the d distances or if you want to see me just come fast on travel whenever I can God's blood you don't know do as Go usual, in. just um, pause the video if you want to read the story. I've heard all that guy's ramblings before, anyways. Right, um, before I sell off anything. Um, remembering to repair. <laughs> 